Uh, yeah, y'all already know, man. First of all, welcome to 2020 Battle Rap Decade. We're going to do the top 10 decade battle rappers. Once again, this is all opinionated. Y'all giving me y'all personal top 10s and one honorary mention. Um, new Midwest movement, y'all already know. Make sure y'all support all them guys for 2020. All right, Verb, let's make it happen. Let's start off this honorary mention. You know what I mean? All right, man. Look, all right, my honorary mention. This nigga came in at 11. He almost made the list, but I had to go ahead and scoot him off, get him up out of there. Because this man has been battling since 2010 to 2020, but I had to take him off because he probably half the deck, well, three of the last 10 years has been doing trash. But he, had, he was so strong in the beginning that he still made it. And he was like one of the most feared. He had a lot of good um, mixtape bars. My number 11 is T-Rex. T-Rex is 11, man. Only reason he had a strong 2010 and 2015, but like at the end, it was too much to put you on my list, bro. That's all right. You've been doo been doo 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 but you was you was one of the most feared niggas in this decade for a minute, at least two years. So I get that. I give you a level. I my number ten. My number ten ain't super active, but his twenty ten to twenty fifteen was so strong, and I think he brought the bar for bar back, and he and niggas kept his style warm from twenty fifteen to twenty twenty, and he was most one of the most feared bar niggas around his time. So. My number 10 is the mean himself, conceited. I got conceited at 10. Mm, I, I respect that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Go ahead, Snowbo. Let me, let me hear uh, your... Uh... My honorary mention going to shock y'all, but all my stuff going to make sense towards the end. And I had to flip him. He, almost, he was almost on there, but he ain't making it because only did. My number 10 is none other than the kid DNA. Ooh. I ain't gonna sleep up. That's my honorary mention, I mean. Whoa. Whoa. I see you having that, huh? Honorary mention? You made me feel bad. I thought y'all was gonna kill me for high high Man, I got him honorary mention. He's not even on my list. You make your list. Man, you make it. Wow. But my number 10 is the weird one of y'all. But when y'all think about it, it do really gotta make sense. My number 10 is none other than. Chilla Jones. He started a whole new wave of rapping that they still doing now. I can't ignore that. That's one thing I can't do. I can't ignore the way he raps and the way everybody else been rapping ever since then. And that's the only reason why DNA ain't making it. Cause Chill, cause DNA impact yeah. is a little bigger than Chilla. But way time. bigger. Yeah. Super bigger. Yeah. Well, wow. Wow. Where was the JC back? Chiller vs. JC, when was that back? 2012. Damn, it was? Yeah. Summer okay. Madness 2 weekend. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more credit then. I, it felt 2015 is to me, but uh, I guess Summer Madness 2 weekend. Alright. Never forget right. that weekend. That's the only reason why I'm thinking I'm like, he got to make it because he changed everybody rapping stuff. But I'm just saying though, when you I I ain't gonna argue with DNA yet till it's my turn. Okay, okay. okay. Right, right. That's it, right. This is all opinionated. This is y'all own personal list, own thoughts. So when y'all hear my list, I want to hear, you know what I mean? I want to hear no <laughs> backlash. <laughs> right. My honorary mention, because I'm quite sure that, I would say quite sure, but I doubt if neither one of y'all got this person on y'all list, or maybe not even one of them on y'all list. My honorary mention is none other than Jazz the Rapper. Mm. That was a nice uh oh, yeah. like, I, I really I, want to put on that show. I mean, she got about six battles in fifteen years. But she still is well known. Right. She well, you know. I always put on my list if y'all ain't noticed. I find a way. Yeah, I know. But I consider her too, so I'm not even mad at that. I already consider her. That's what's up. So yeah, I got her my there. honorary. Every time I look at a battle, she's there. No matter what league, she's there hosting. Okay, okay. Um, now for to get to the uh, to the third, my number 10. Um, man, this this man, Arsenal, Arsenal is my number 10. 
that's my number 10. I'm going to just leave it just like that. Arsenal is my number 10. Um, he's still coming in and putting it in with these new guys to this day. He done retired, came back, retired, came back. Um, the people I got above him, um, y'all probably understand why um, at the further we go. You know what I mean? But I got Arsenal number 10 on that um, top 10 decade of battle rappers. Um, Verb stepped away, Snub. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and rock with your number nine. Okay, now number nine is where it gets tricky at because how the hell I don't have DNA on my list, but I got him at number nine. It was easy. He brought DNA back, and DNA now raps like Shine 2.0, so K Shine. The first half of the decade, I didn't really rock with him. But the second half, he been elite. Ever since he battled with Verb. Okay, okay, K Shine. Okay, okay, okay. So Verb, what happened? What I did was, uh, I had Jazz as my um, honorary, but my number ten was Arsenal. Verb, that was my number ten. You know what I mean? He's still like I was telling Snub. He's still battling, it, and he battling these young guys to these day, and he's making mm -hmm. them battles debatable on some. So uh, Snuff, he did number nine when you stepped away. So Snuff, tell him your number nine, did Verb, you can do yours, and then I do mine. My number nine is Mr. Zip him up. I'll put him on there instead Calm of DNA. Calm down. Calm down, Verb. Because, um, well, honestly, this is personal. And personally, I never liked Sean when he was with Dotmar. I didn't Calm. like Sean since he got in WH. Tell him the reason why you, ain't had, why you had DNA on the honorary mention again. Because DNA's comeback was, was uh, due to K-Shine. And DNA now raps like Shine. He don't use his own old, old style no more. Chip Jones ain't even came back yet. Hmm? <laughs> you said, you said who? Chip I said, at least, at, least, at least they came back. Chip Jones ain't even came back yet. He's still boring as fuck. He had a good nitty battle. But I, I ain't go I ain't go of him because of his battles. I went because of his, you know what I'm saying, his impact on the game. Mm. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, you show, show, show list, it's your list. You know, it's your list. This changed the style of rap. What's I mean, your number? Real talking gangster talking. He came in scheming. Hi. What's your number, number nine? nine? Uh huh. Number nine. From 2020 to 2010, super active. He done battled niggas like Lux. He done battled niggas like Cassidy. My number nine. It's your number 10, so I'm going with Arsenal the rapping, man. Impact battles, countries, hella battles. He never really been like garbage. You know what I'm saying? For a couple of years, he might have been a little bit okay, but he never been like a weak battle rapper. Y'all would say the flow. Got to give him his flowers, man. One of the ghosts. I got Arsenal at number nine. Okay, okay, okay. My number nine. Um... Um, they said he probably he the best performer, um, maybe top two. This is my number nine. Um, he just don't battle enough for me these last couple of years. But Hitman Holler is my number nine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew he was gonna do that when he heard that. I know, I know, I know, <laughs> bro. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. What's your number? Right. What's your number eight, Bird? All right, my number eight. Don't get me wrong. He he had two. He been dominant. He been cold. Twenty ten through twenty twenty. He maybe had two years when you hated to see him on the card. You knew he had some money involved in URLs. You been on it, but you can't deny this man. This man that had a lot of classics. Then you got to put, that's why I say you got to put a minute because you got to give him that two-on-two -two credit. He, they brought the two-on-two -two back. That's bigger than Chilla. It's a whole event. They ain't having scheme um, tournament, but they have a double impact tournament. Yeah, and but, main but, event cards. Mm -hmm. So that's like a big thing that him and K-Shine did. But you can't say it without K-Shine. Whatever you say about him, you can't really But, but you got to give him the points too, though. I'm giving both of them the points. They both on my list. That's but... Like, he a little bit lower than K-Shine. I feel like K-Shine did more one-on-one. -on -one. And right now, K-Shine is like the most deadliest nigga in battle rap right now. And 
But like, DNA got to be on the list, man. Like, you know, I don't even like it, but I you can't. I like the point. That's, that's the point I felt. The reason why I kept him out, but I didn't just look at him. Yeah, yeah, but see, but he did it too. So, it, it, so I love it though. ESPN, all it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's a lot he done did, man. You know what I'm saying? He had a strong. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to do numbers too. We can't like one thing. One thing. One thing you can't. Everything is opinionated, but one thing you can't overlook is the numbers. He's probably top three numbers, like views. You know what I'm saying? So like, even if we don't like him, I gotta give him that respect. I don't care if I don't like. Because he got the numbers, and he brought it to him too bad. He the freestyle champ, nigga. B T E S P number eight, man. I got number eight being that. Okay. Well, I say this: I'm not gonna switch nothing, but my team and my honorable mention could be switched. I could put the chill as honorable mention. I don't like that. I don't like that much better. On your list. <laughs> I really do. I ain't gonna lie to you. I would like that a little much. Little. Hey, uh, hey, that's why I you know what I'm saying. Time in between the two, and I knew it. But to me, it's just chiller style means something to me. I appreciate that style. But uh, I feel the same. Can't take away accolades, though. Yeah, like, I don't even be like, I gotta give you nothing. I don't want to give you that credit, but I got you. Yeah. Are we on eight? Yeah. Eight. Now, my number eight. It's gonna be very surprising, and this is personal. He would have been in my top five, but his last three years, you know, what I'm saying, kind of pissed me off. Because there was one point he was the MVP for like three straight years, undefeated, all his own Charlie Clips, number eight. I like that. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. My number eight. He done, uh, his last couple of years, man, he done been through some turmoil. And his 2020 started off with turmoil. Mm-hmm. My number mm-hmm. eight is number only than Tay Rock. That's my number eight. I but can't wait to see your top three. Oh, my top three is definitely, um, you can't deny my top three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like this. I like number, this. Number seven. It's on me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Just keeping with the tag team. <laughs> 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 Who I think I got at number seven? His partner. I got his partner. Now, he's one of the most deadliest right now. But like you say, Snub, yeah. he could have been higher. But the 2010 to 2014, he was super duper the nip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, the way. But his, no, 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 no. Okay. I, got, I got my DNA partner. I got okay. it. Yeah. Okay. 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 The, mm. um, I got number eight, K-Shine. No, number seven. seven. No. I got seven. I got K-Shine and seven. Okay. 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 Snowball, number seven. Ooh. Number seven is a guy that he started out as being on top of the world. <laughs> He's still one of the guys, but it's, I believe right, it's 2018 or 19. Might have been last year. Don't get me Somebody kind of, you know, put a, put a, put a major uh, chink in his arm. Okay. Guy's a freestyle guy. He was a grind time legend. He was a fight club legend. You know what I'm saying? He was 106 and cars legend. How old did he not? Mm. He was always every era. He always been on top. He been top five on every era. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. That's his number seven. My number seven. Um, my number seven. This guy has one of. He came when he came back. His return has been great. He the reason why I got him. He has one of the top three. Battles of the decade. He has one of the top three battles of the decade. That says a lot. Number seven is none other than Iron Solomon. His battle versus Rum Nitty. His battle versus Rum Nitty is arguably one of the top three battles of the decade. That's a fact. 
and his but, and his return but, his but, and his, yeah. his his return has been great. Every battle that they gave him, him JC, him, you know what I mean, has been great. Iron Solomon. He was more powerful last decade though. The decade before he was more powerful. That's what I would say too. I like Iron Solomon. I just don't think he can beat nobody on He's my list. He's still here. Iron what Solomon is still here. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about beat him now. I'm talking about like the, the resume. Oh, oh, okay, okay. They resume. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I feel it. Like, you know, we ain't gonna be wrong with every nigga we name gonna be cold. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like opinionated. It's like top 10 bat regular rappers. Yeah, this is our opinion, though. You know? yeah, 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 I felt that. Yeah. I felt that. Now, let me, I'm getting my what I'm in my six bag. Just keep in yeah. mind, he got one of the top three battles of this decade, no matter what. You know what I mean? Just keep that I in mind. I don't know. He probably I want, I want, I want in, in top three in my decade. Yeah, I, I, his battle I with him Jason and Rum Nitty. Lux, Lux Hollow and Bird Hitman, them, them my three top. Hell yeah. Then my fourth probably run. It's three battles this year that I pick over Iron and Rum. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. It, it, it's in my top ten of the decade. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think I watched it. Top five yeah. is a stretch. I think. Oh, you missing out? You ain't watched. No, I'm just. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, let the culture kill. I, I, I didn't miss that battle. Come on. Man. They're like, oh, we not even listen to him no more. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga don't even watch Hitman battle. We on number no, no, six. No. We on number six. six. I, number six. All right. My first nigga that's really not URL, man. Could have been top five. Powerful year. Powerful decade. Still don't nobody want to fuck with him. He don't uh, battle super a lot, but he did in the beginning of the card. Yeah. Canada Zone. Pat fucking State. I got Pat Stay at six, man. He's one of my favorites too. I like Pat Stay, man. Yeah, I, I ain't think you like nobody that. white on the list. I'm gonna be honest. I know you. I, I he my he had to make it, man. It's like numbers too. Every time he come out, he putting them numbers on the board. He gonna be good. He never got killed. You know that's a, you know I love that. But then he never get killed. I love that type of shit. And he just he funny bars performance. I like him six, man. And I'm not, I'm not top five because these top five niggas is deadly. But in my my see my six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see who you left out now. Now nah, I'm looking. I'm looking. My little. Okay. I see Bird. Who Bird left out? We have a big argument on this one. But my number six is not other than Jersey's on Tsunami Surf. His impact of the game, no matter if if he was having debatables or winning, still. It's an imprint. He all, he gonna leave an imprint forever on this game. Mm. My yes, sir. My no my number six. This straight bias. West Coast own Danny Myers. He started the decade at forty years of age. And we still here. And we still you here. Gotta give him credit. You gotta give him credit. And we still here. We still here. We still we put numbers on the board the last three years. We've been in the top on a champion of the year. This at least the top ten. We still here, man. Danny Myers Bar God is who I got at number six. Yeah, he ain't on my list. And I rock with Danny. That's what's up. He ain't, he ain't on my list, but I I I I, I, I respect Danny. That's what's up. I respect Danny. Okay, so now we're going top five. Time to get into them big boys now, y'all. Five. I feel like if you would be top five, you had to be a GOAT in this decade. You had to have a GOAT period to be in my top five in the decade. Like, GOAT period. This man right here, last two years, maybe, huh? But the man had three years of being the GOAT. G O A T. That mean a lot. That mean a lot about the best. The most. Did nobody want to go and get him? Nope. Nobody. And like, if he at the top of his game, there's not too many people that can even fuck with. Him. You know what I'm saying? And number five, Harlem Zone, Charlie Clips. I got Clips at five. Cause niggas didn't want to see Clips for three years straight. I wonder what's in front of him. I like what you did right there. Niggas ain't want to stand in front of him. That's that's damn near half the decade. Niggas ain't want to stand in front of you. Yeah, I know. He still. So that means like shit. That means a lot. 
And we still say he can sit on his job, he can beat anybody. So that's 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 a big thing to say. Yeah. That means that if he actually comes and, and performs, there ain't too many people that's gonna beat him. No. And I thought that too. I should just kept on my height, bro. You know, okay. I got him on my list. I'm I'm happy with that. What's so, your number five? five? What's, your, what's your number five, Snow? My number five last year was hell for this boy. But he had four years of holding up the league and the brand by himself. My number five is Smacks Gunner, Tay Rock. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I had him a little bit further down because it was more like two years. You know what I mean? Nah, uh-uh. That he been, you, you see how long the boys has gone wild and out? Mm-hmm. They've gone wild and out for like four years. No, nah, I'm talking about as far as him um, on a decline. It's been um, over two years. I'm, I'm going to wait till I get to him. But I, say, last, I just Last year was controversy. year before it was losses. I'm going to wait till I get to him before I talk about him. That's mm-hmm. what's up. Mm, we know what's happening. Number so you know five. What that means. My number yeah. five. I agree with 100% what Verb said. My number five is the one and only Charlie Clips. That's my number five. That's why I say when it comes to five through one, man, when it comes to impact and what they did, I, you know what I mean? My number five yeah. is the one and only Charlie Clips. You I know. talk myself out of putting Clips in the top five because how he's the last ones. That's why I like both of y'all put them in the top five. I agree. Yep, Charlie Clips. Uh, we getting down to the meat and potatoes. Right, now this one, now this one, y'all gonna be like, y'all might have thought y'all knew me, but y'all didn't know me. Because this <laughs> oh, is what I'm gonna say about this one. That my number four, me. my number four. To me, he started 2010 as the goat. He ended 2020 as the goat. Okay. Now I know you like, damn, how can somebody beat him? Okay, he didn't have a lot of battles in this time. You know what I'm saying? It won a lot. But what he did, he has to be top five. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he beat my number five. But he's still the GOAT right now. And he never did no shit with Clips did. So he got to be hiding Clips. But Clips was a GOAT too. But Lux, I got him at four being the GOAT. Oh, damn, I said the name. Loaded Lux at number four, man. I got Loaded Lux at four. Y'all know he's my favorite battle rapper. I think he's the go, but I'm battle of the decade. I'm gonna explain my three to one why I feel like they are more battles of the decade than him. I'm not saying they're he's better. They better than him, but mm-hmm. battle of the decade is what we're doing, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna make my my my, my argument for it. But four, okay. I got loaded lux. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Okay. Now my number four, y'all gonna be mad at because I see what y'all put in it. My number four is the United States. Most viewed battler, the first to ever get an app, the first to go outside of the battle on every league, the first to start his own league after after the URL and throw big matches. Been here forever. Got his own lane. When you do this, we know you copy him. Mr. Disrespect himself, Arsenal. I like that one. You picked a good one. Yeah, that's one of my shirts. Arsenal, Arsenal. Okay, okay, okay. That's yeah, what's what's right. Hey, you want to hear my argument for that? Ooh, my lady just walked in. She looked so good. Hey, but like, you want to hear my argument for that? Your battle in the decade for the battle of drugs. So you know you're not the battle of the decade. <laughs> look, he's on my list though. I got him on my list. He's on my list. But he's on my list. Let me say this real quick before we go to you. So for your number. I always know that we, we think it battle rap different. I give respect to the gods who will come down there and battle some of the other guys that's not on their level. Rather than the ones who stay in the cloud and be like, I got to wait five or ten years until somebody get good, then I battle. He off and on. And the only thing I would ever say about Arsenal, I don't think I don't think he was never a GOAT. Like, I never thought that, like, in those no, no years, and, but you know how like you can say, like, Jay-Z won that year, Eminem won that year. He was always like top five, but like yeah. he, I don't feel like he was never was like niggas was like Arsenal. It's the look, nigga, you don't want the team. But we were talking about accolades earlier, right? Yeah, he got the most accolades, and he was in the Fight Club era. Always, he always been a powerhouse player. Yeah, but he, he got the most numbers. He got the most numbers. Yeah. Well, how I respect numbers is different though, because 
he got the most numbers. He damn near got the most ballots too. That's how his numbers is. Way too hard. I talked about my niggas. Let me show you how the numbers go. <laughs> but the average, the average, I respect him. But look, he averaged more views off of URL than any URL battle. He averaged, so he still go a million without that. That means a lot too. Some of these guys do battles off of URL and don't get a million. He's going to get you a million. Ask Clay Page. Hmm. All right. My number four. Man. Go ahead. K Shine. K Shine. Yeah, that's not my number four. Right now, K Shine argues like um, undefeated like the last two years. And right now, he cannot be touched besides Rum Nitty. But you see how that battle went debatable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Only referral only referral for him would be that's dope what he did in two years, but I seen people like Clips do it before him. Undefeated. Beating better competition. I got I got K Shine over Arsenal. You know Clips was by five. Okay. Yeah, you did say that. I got okay. K Shine over Arsenal. Okay. But I like I, I feel like K Shine closer than Arsenal. Cause K Shine like that might be the fear nigga right now. He, his time might be right now. You talking about the decade though? That's the last two years of the this decade. Twenty nineteen. Yeah, that's another no, decade. That's the last two years. What Arsenal you never had a year where he was top two in this decade. He never had no top two years. Because he was always the first to do stuff. That's why I did. See, he had to. Be yeah, he was the first to do one. stuff in twenty oh eight. The other uh, decade. He won nah, the first I'm about, No, uh, that, that was 2010. He was the first URL battle to go off of there, go overseas battle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get million views off URL, get his own battle lead, get his own. He, matter of fact, he hope, he put together one of the top three battles of the decade because somebody else wouldn't do it. When it comes to uh, the decade, Arsenal covers every category. And okay. Seven. They say it's only one. They say it's only Except one league they count. Except for being that nigga. Except for being that nigga. That's the only thing he missed. Only... All right, let me go to my number three. Let's take the undeniable king of his category. Hey, though. Hey, Disrespect. Hey, let me let me go to my number three. Let's stay in his city. Let's okay. stay in that man's city. Okay. Let's go to your nigga. Okay. You think he's been better than that nigga this decade? For real, G. You it's think that nigga been better? You think that nigga been better than Surf this decade, bro? He was. Hey, remember this. Even though Surf, you know what I'm saying, my favorite. Ours is the king of Jersey, not Surf. Surf man, said, I don't want to hear that shit no more. Hey, that's, that, that shit that's over. That shit is mm. over. You know that why? shit is you over. Know why, though? That, that shit was over. Over. That no, he was not. on. That means no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He is not. No more. No more. He's not. Yeah, no more. About Surf and flu years though. To who? I said we talking about the whole decade. I know. I'm talking about. This was the man more years than Surf in this decade. No, no, he was never that nigga though. Surf that nigga right now. That nigga right now. That nigga right now, bro. He got way better, man. Come on, man. You don't think Arsenal's better than Surf? Like I don't like. I didn't know. I didn't know the battle of the decade was about who was better. I thought it was about like. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk numbers. It's about better impact. Um, the everything, whole total, uh, total everything. thing is what I thought. Let's talk I, numbers. If I better, I'm, most of the time it's going to be my top team. You know Let's talk I'm numbers. Doing. Let's talk numbers. Let's talk numbers. Surf do numbers. Less battles. Less battles. You know what you're going to give me. Surf, you're going to get a million. But you're not surf, guaranteed no million with look, no Arsenal. You forgot Arsenal got a six million view battle. Arsenal has more views per battle than any battle. DNA has more total views because he has more battles right. than ours. All right, wait till I get to my number one. Hey, hey, we, can't, hey we talking about stats. Good. We can't refute stats, baby. Right. right. Oh, I'm going to say my stats. My stats. My stats. When I look, look, my stats. To me, it's like we might not think Kareem Abdul-Jabbar about the best, but he holds the score record. Not Jordan. But I got two eyes. I know Jordan better than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Two eyes. You, you already know. Two eyes, right? That's them. just one part of the game, bro. So that means that's just one this part this. of the game, bro. That means you don't think the nigga with the most stats? And you think nigga that fucked the most hoes, the, the, the pimpest nigga in the world? No. But look. No. But look. The stats say that he put the ball in the basket more times on the field. I don't give. 
stats say that motherfucking Carl Malone put the ball in the basket more than Kobe Bryant. I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Kobe Bryant is better than Carl Malone. Fuck like, what's he say? I got a whole bunch of mm-hmm. shit to say. So so we're gonna go to better than when the stats. Cause you know why? Ahead. You know why? You know why? Cause he had them rings too. He had them rings. So he got rings. That's why I said the only thing ours didn't have in the category was an MVP. But he was MVP of the, the last two years of the decade before. So I didn't count that. You're right. But yeah. going forward, he was the first to do almost everything from the early. You talking college. about some shit from the old decade, though. What yeah. has he done this decade? No, I'm about to say, I never mentioned that. I said that's the only thing that he didn't have in this decade. But everything else he covered. He just didn't get no ring in this decade. <laughs> All right, I got surf at three. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I'm not gonna be mad at you saying surf. What you got at three, snub? My number three is uh, Kobe Bryant. Okay, Kobe Bryant. Okay, Kobe Bryant. Mr. Wild and Out himself, Hollywood Holler. Okay, Hollywood Holler has been just like I'm saying, he might not been the man every year, but he's always been at that table every single year from the year he came in. No matter where he was from, he battled. He didn't get booed. They started trying to boo him. And he never said, was the man. You said what? He never was the man. When was he? When was he the man? <laughs> well, he was getting hollowed and down. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He was the man. I love him, man. Holler just like Oh, my God. Yeah. He was the best performer, bro. He what are you talking about? Team. It was like three years. He lost the big about... He lost the big He know he did not. He no, he did not. No, he did not. He lost the big team. Loud. I'm saying the battle before Hollywood died, and the battle that you speak of when you say he was the man after he lost the big team, Hollow said, you know what I'm saying, now I got to get the job done. Uh, uh, I got to get the job done. Because T ain't finished. Yeah. Mm. I paid him and said, and said, leave him alive and bring him to me. Remember that? I lost. Right, I feel that. I feel that. But I'm, but I'm just trying to tell you. I, 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 I'll talk about him when I get to my. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm, I'm reason why I'm going to go like this. His man Hollis started off as he came in, he battled Cortez. I thought he won personally, but it's just my opinion. Everybody else said Cortez won the bloods and question all of that. Then he went from there to battle him. Who was that? Like Ars? Had one of the greatest performances ever against our second round. You know what I'm saying? Ars was the man, dude. I'm glad you made me think about that. That's what Ars was the man. Yeah. When his man beat him and became the man. Thank you. Mm. We can move on now. I'm cool with my four and three now. You make me feel better. But I'm my three, my three and five so far. I see it the same as um verb. My three is mm-hmm. also surf. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm I messed up though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we got number two. I forgot somebody. And number one. I forgot somebody too. That's why I'm like, oh. I ain't gonna lie. I, got I ain't gonna lie. I forgot somebody. I'm about to say it too. I ain't gonna lie. Hey. Hey, but no, let's go. Like y'all do me. Let's go. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. We gonna have to. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put this man at three. Cause look, I ain't gonna lie. Everything <laughs> I can up. My number ten like don't you. make it. My number ten don't make it. Cause my number two. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, hey, idea. hey, look. I'm gonna tell you what I did. My number two. My number two is Taylor. But I, I forgot about Hollow the Dime. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about. And he would be like. I got Tay Rock at three. Okay. I got Tay Rock at my three. Let me go to, and then Hollow at two. I got Tay Rock at my three because this was his decade. This was the Tay Rock decade. He had a lot of years in this decade. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like this was his like this was his decade. Yeah. When everybody on the team became the man that you are in. He was a star. He was a he was a he definitely had the crowd for a couple years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that means a lot to me. You can do them type of years. You, you yeah, in the gas. Yeah. <laughs> like Rock, I got him at three. But 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 he he wasn't the GOAT as many years as number two. It's Hollow the Don in this decade. Hollow the Don was more of a GOAT this decade. He my number two. You can't deny, man. 
he found off a little bit right now, but not really a lot like T Rex and the type niggas. He still like I still want to see him. He's still in my top all time. I got Howard Darn at number two. Okay. My number two is one of the game changers. Like the coach shifted when he did what he did. Another hard zone, Loaded Lux. Loaded Lux is like a, a, a different entity to this whole game. When you get a Jay-Z to tweet about you, you go on Howard Stern show, you get Shaq to host a mixtape. Like when you when you, when your when your one single battle does that, and then you continue to get out there and mix it up with some of the younger guys, like not unlike like I was saying about you know what I'm saying the other guy earlier, he'll come down and box with these young guys. Lord of Lux, man, you can't everything beloved did is is special to this game. He's like the end boss in battle rap. Okay, okay, okay. My number two is Hollow the Don. You know what I'm saying? Hollow the Don is my number two. Y'all be going through a rough patch right now. You've been going through a rough patch for like oh, the whole year of 2019. Ever since that battle he had on RBE with Mal. So that whole year, and due to the fact that that caused a after the battle is still lingering on until it's 2020, but Hollow the Don be my number two. You know what I mean? When it comes to the number one, is the reason why he number one. Go ahead, go ahead, Bird. Yep. Okay. Let's get into it, man. I finally got to pick my number one. Number one. Okay. First, I'm gonna fight off y'all picks. I'm pretty sure both y'all probably gonna have either Hollow the Don or Lux one and two. I had my speech prepared before this, so that's why I don't know what's going on. One and two, y'all probably had Lux or Hollow to me. This is why he's better than me. Starting 2010, did Hollow have a name already? And Lux. They were damn near like the goats in 2010, right? They were the goats. What was Hitman Holler in 2010? Not no fucking goat talk, nothing like he damn near started. His decade from 2010 to 2020, he made a name for himself in this decade. They made a name for themselves in the last decade. They just kept their names afloat. But he made a name for himself in this decade. Okay, that's my one stat. My second stat is what's the biggest league in battle rap? You are real. So I did some research. I went and pushed the top battles. And 10 of them, guess what? The nigga on half of them. <laughs> Nobody's close to that. And guess what? They were all this decade. Like you say with the numbers come. Like how could you, what you mean? And then if you want to talk about um, different leagues, guess who got one of the highest battles on RBE? Him. Him. Super um, active in this decade. Not like, you know what I'm saying? He might have still got a little bit of shit, but he still come out to play. He ain't take the bets. Like, the last case time lost. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Take Rock, whoever the hottest, we go get him. That's why he can't be, they can't be over him. Come on, I'm back. The entertainment of the sport, bringing niggas in, performance started in this decade. We started it. What more can I say like ho? What else can he do? Best battle of the decade. He got some. In my top three, so. My number one. This decade. Most work. Created his name. He's he's probably more famous than anybody in battle rap right now. Like, look-wise. Like, walking down the mall type shit. Him. One. Get me Hollow. All right, I'm gonna piggyback off that to say, I agree with that. Except for like a couple points. One of the points would be that he had a big homie that ushered him in that also didn't have a name. That also made certain battles duck and run for eight nine years. 
who we got consider God to, who beat the hell out of my number seven. I had all of a seven. Aver ushered in a whole new region. The battles of the decade ain't only like who the best battle. That's why I had my Lux at two. Because what Lux did shifted the game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just like I got Chiller shifted the game with less accolades. Lux got all the rest of those accolades. He can actually say 2012 I was the man. Came back to y'all decade and dominated. 2013, 14. Until he ran to move. Aver actually ushered in a region. Nobody cared about Nobody from the Midwest or nowhere else on Smack DVDs on URL until A Bird lit SB up. When he did, he brought two more guys through with him. And one of them happened to be my number three. Well, I agree with you if you feel your number one. One, two, and three, I'm not going to argue with nobody. Y'all can switch them around. All right, well, let me argue with you. <laughs> your turn over, brother. No, I, we, we got to argue with well, your person, too. It's a debate show. <laughs> This is the base show. Can I argue your number one, sir? Okay. I knew you was. I didn't want to. My dollar of the day came. One is not going to lose a judge's battle of gems. He's not going to lose a judge's battle of gems. Two, he's never going to get booed off the stage and die. Like, how are you going to be the battle of the decade and he died at the Grammys? With clips like, he murk like death. Like, we didn't see him rise. Jesus Christ. How can you be how can you be the top of the leg? And then he, he was just trash. To the top. He been just trash the last like four years. Like K. Shine killed him. There's a lot of murders he got. When he looked as stupid with that random shirt and that dumb ass fade. That was this decade. He was weak as fuck. He then look weak now. Like he not super good right now. He was the killer what in 2011? Hey, he just beat this like, I don't care what chicks. nobody got to say. Let's kill him. Shines kill him, gems kill him, that state kill him, who, all that, battle of the decade? Yes. My. Oh, the hitman. What number three? What has he ever given for RBE? Aver. He ain't did much. Aver, it's, it's, it's his impact. Without him, you don't get nobody paying attention to the hitman and Calico and none of them, because nobody did before. That's just a fact. Yeah. That's yeah. a fact that we can rewind. Yeah. That's what it is. They did their own shit. They didn't need him. They didn't need him. They was making their own well, shit. Well, hey, they, they, it's sure like they did because they didn't do nothing to have everybody say, hey, man, these niggas from the Midwest can rap. Okay, but they had yeah, the whole thing. Oh, no, he didn't right. rap for them. He, he, <laughs> wasn't even the nigga, he wasn't even the nigga jumping in um, his man shit. He didn't need to. He had his own way. So it's about which so it's about which St. Louis guy brought the most impact. That's no question. It's over. That's not not That's close. Ain't been a broom for like look, three years. Hitman never look, been a broom. When the Midwest Hitman came, never they been a broom. They had different states and they own crews. Bird was the man in the best crew. He brought him in. Bird was the guy that was talking and and, and man, and, when was the hitman? When was the hitman and Bird battle? When was the hitman and Bird battle? He been not fucking with him. Fuck him. Ever since that battle, nigga, it ain't team. Nigga, we get show out. We don't even need you on stage. You go with the crackhead. Go with Young Hill. I started on my own. I'm bigger than you now. What? We want that? Hitman. Hitman walk through the motherfucking mall with A Bird. It's gonna be two motherfuckers go to A Bird. Maybe. And the whole fucking mall will go to hit me. That's yeah. fucked up. We want to talk about lyrics. That's cool, but like impact. Not, I, I, hey, I'm not. I'm bringing up imp, the impact. What I'm saying. His the impact, impact made it to. His impact made it to MTV. His impact was so dope that they said, "Yo, if it's a mo five people like y'all, we'll do the East Coast versus the Midwest." Never did it. What you mean, never did it? What did he do, bro? He didn't do shit. I'm telling you what he did. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast to get on a uh, on a on a smack camera and beat Calico and Shine and get the hell out of there. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Hitman impact through this outside of the East Coast. Bro, so Aver was out before Aver doing what he doing. So, so I'm just saying. So now listen, listen, 
Okay, so A Bird was out before Midwest Man. Can we get the uh, beloved number one? Because <laughs> <All right. laughs> now we got like this was the project for the beer west to rap. No, I just and didn't want this one, but I don't want this decade, bro. Hey man, I don't I want this decade. Hey brother, you can't look. I can't convince you that your number one is wrong. Bro. You can't convince me my number one is wrong. That's why I said earlier, okay? All right, I ain't gonna disagree. Okay, okay, okay. What's amazing about this argument? I'm definitely with Snub when it came to A Bird as number one uh, for decade, and it ended. Uh, it was like, um, and he ended off by beating when it comes to battle rap the top two the names, last two the last two names that people. No, talk to the not crowd. in this decade. He, so Mark Luke is a boss just, in this decade. Well, why? Well, why is the person in this decade like Sir Holler calling for Lux? He want that hoodie. That hoodie was well last decade. Lux is in the top five. He didn't. I got Lux two one. I don't know what you're talking about. I understand. And Aver <laughs> and Aver was considered the, the the loaded Lux of the Midwest because he had the best pen before the JCs and everybody came. And I did. Hey, I I did. Did. Gonna read he like was history, brother. How many? How many decades? How many years did he have? That? Like the most pen skin because after he had the most important. After the what was what was the clips the about? The first two what years. He had the most the, important years, the years that matter. Like what we saying, these battlers better do something. They better show something to see. You talking gonna about two it. years in a decade? The niggas I'm talking about the, ran the, the decade. The most important two. He laid the foundation. They what, walked over. He, his, they walked over his back after he got there. Okay, but they cro they jumped over him. Yeah, Doctor J was the first one. But Mike, you said over. you said when was he man the man? I said when was he man the man? Right. You said when he battled Hollow, right? You know, Bird Hitman battled. Hitman been the man since he. Hitman been the man since he battled. Awesome. Yeah, he beat his ass, and, and Hitman lost to him. Hitman so been, been the man since he battled Arsenal. When was Mav Hoffman the man? When was A Bird versus Charlie Kirk? Hitman was the man since he battled Arsenal. Okay, so you right. Hitman was the man before Mav Hoffman. 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 Okay, you right. Before uh, it was it was after uh, the Mav Hoffman battle when he beat another boss in New York. Mav was one of the men. Him and Rex. Keep it going. Keep on supplying me because I wasn't even thinking. You going back now. You going back. I'm, we going 2010. We say the decade. No, I'm telling you no, that these are the most no. important. If that chill if that chill in JC was 2012, that one in 2010. What one in 2010? Frozen. Frozen. Which, which one? I froze you, G. Which one? Because oh, because I don't even believe. Cause, cause SB, look, SB was like oh nine or twenty ten. URL started uh twenty ten October thirty first. I know my dates. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And that was the man for T Rex. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Big T hit him with the you know what I'm saying? LeBron James the remains. Of it. Well, let's go. What you want to talk about? You didn't freeze me, baby. Uh you was froze the whole time. I didn't hear that. No, I've been trying to tell you from the get go. These are the. I had to let you get it out. I was like, you know what? If I keep going, we're just gonna be arguing. Let me hear what he's saying. So when was A Bar versus Clips? D, you going to twenty twelve? That's twenty twelve. That was that was summer madness one. Twenty eleven. He hasn't even been good since then. Well, all right. This is what we gonna do. We gonna say. The SB battle is what jumped off that Midwest movie. Because he ended up being about this. Let me make it to the Clippers battle. You trying to skip? No, I don't care about nothing before 2010. No, this is 2010. No, no, no. listen. Yo, how long was like your number three or something, right? Or four? Yeah, yeah, how long my number? How long my top two? Your number two, right? Yeah. At one time, A Bird beat the shit out of him in St. Louis before Hitman was popping like that shit. When A Bird, this wasn't twenty. This wasn't in twenty ten. This was twenty ten because he the FB was uh oh nine. He better go look. <laughs> this was twenty ten. Yeah, 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 this Top three battles of all time, and Lux ball his, you know what I'm saying, his angle you know, you know, at the end. Then he battled X Factor. Then, see, I know, I remember the X Factor. July 28, 2009. It doesn't count. You said what? It don't count, bro. What you say? What was 2009? 
Hollow and um, Ava, no cannon. You don't even think about it. You're talking about the day of the day. So, SB and Hollow was 09. Yeah. Okay. In 2010, he had Mac, who was the guy then. Because in 09, yeah. he, he watched Hollow, he out the way. But Who's that? Man? No, but they NYP, was the man. Hold on. I know you ain't just be Hollow, NYP. I'm a man. Mac was the man back then. Iron Solomon. Who was the big battle? Then Matt, then a a a whooped his ass. They and they said, hey, go get one battle, Charlie one Clips. Battle. We need somebody special for this dude. And they went and got Charlie Clips in Harlem versus the Harlem dude, and he got rid of Bird that day. But you know what Bird bounced back on? My favorite battle of all time. A Bird versus Hitman. Lux Bob Bars. Hey, 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 I'm telling you why. I'm that's his best battle. That ain't Hitman's best battle. That ain't Hitman's best battle. That ain't Hitman's best battle. And, 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 and you know what happened? He had the Hitman battle, which my nigga gave him that. My nigga in that battle. My nigga in that battle. Don't negate my point. His best battle in the decade is man. Hey, acknowledge the points I'm making though. Just because you don't like the guy. See, Hitman got way more. Hitman got way more battles. After he did what he did versus it, man, Lux took that user versus Calico 2012. Boom. Bird had to fight back. And and, and Tuck put it so greatly at the end. Bro, the last two bro. years. When it mattered the most against the people that it mattered the most on, he beat him. Who's <laughs> more famous? I, who's more famous? Clear. That's clear. Who had the most numbers? Clear. Everything else we are, who's the who the best performer? Clear. Everything else is opinion. Conceit is more famous than Surf. Than who? Surf. I, I just yeah. said Hitman. No, no, Hitman. Conceit is more famous than Surf, but Surf gonna be more hiding on your list than Conceit for a lot of people. Right, because he got better um he got better um other things. What others do A Bird got over the Hitman? Instead of losses and being killed. You get booed. I never seen Hitman get like don't ever even want to hear me rap. I never seen Hitman lose a judge battle to some nigga like Genius. Like a judge battle. Like, you I know lose, you man, no money. I saw Hitman versus Good. Leave without your hands. Leave, leave without your hands. In a one round, this guy can choke. Oh, and burn on, Earl. Man. We talking about real battles. We talking about real battles. We talking about real battles. When you got to go to one round, you, come on, bro. We talking about real battles. We talking about real battles. We talking about Oh, RBE. That was three rounds. R B E wasn't that powerful back then. Oh, uh, now R. You see, I don't. Now you gonna kiss R B E? I go through. I go through history. G. If I it wasn't for R B E, A Bird would have never ate. Why you want to say that? If it wasn't for R B E, A Bird would have never got uh, a. He never got moved and got Lux. Nigga, you may thank R B E. I don't know about anybody. He did the thing. I'm just. I'm just. He was garbage on U R L. Trash. K Shine murdered him. Killed the yeah. dumb man. Yeah. With that hey, fake in that jersey. He hey, was when you in New York and you come to New York, you just, you just expect to get booed off the stage. He man ain't niggas in New He just stayed quiet and came back and rapped. Man, nigga had the debatable face. with the worst Lux I ever I seen in my life. Hey. That, nigga, that nigga had a debatable with the worst Lux I ever seen in my life. That nigga not shit. Mm. All right, y'all. That's the top Rising ten. The worst luck. Top ten. Go. He broke in a run with it. Now it's the worst luck he saw. He lost now. Now it's a loss. He got to change another stat. I mean, that's one of his best accolades, a <laughs> Top ten decade. Once again, this is all opinionated. You know what I mean? Um, whether it's Verb, Hitman, Loaded Lux. Hollow the Don. Um, they all loved it and all respect it. Y'all already know this, your boy Two Eyes. I right, Verb. I right, Snub.